Maybe the most, just as far as learning the game, learning where you need to be, and obviously working with Coach B. Right. It's, you know, this is a this is a unique defense. You know, not everybody can play, and not, it's not easy to learn. But once you get those things down, you know, you have to be confident in yourself to know your gaps in the schemes. What's it? Uh, what's your relationship like with Matt Wells, and what's it like? Uh, what's it been like being here with him? Uh, you know, uh, given y'all's history. Right, man. I've been I've been knowing Coach Wall since I was 15, 15, 16 years old. So, um, you know, being here with him, he definitely has helped out a lot. You know, just keeping my mind in it. You know, like, hey, be alert. You know, you're, you're not out of it just yet. You know, and so um, it's been very good to have Coach Wells here as well. Without a doubt in my mind. Yeah, without a doubt in my mind. You have to, don't expect the results for the work you haven't done. You know, he always tells us that. And so, you know, I've definitely bought into what he has preached. Um, I think he preaches a good word. And you just have to listen to him and accept it and believe in it. I know obviously you're focused on Saturday's game and, and the bowl game beyond that. But when you look at the future, you know, what what are some of the things in the off season that you feel like you, you really need to work on and try to, you know, make strides on to, to make a bigger impact next year. Right, the playbook, you know, it, it, the playbook for sure. Understanding the game, understanding the fits, understanding the gaps, the schemes, you know, all of that good stuff. So just in the off season, spending more time, um, you know, I'm, I won't be the youngest guy in the room. So, you know, you have to take on that role of kind of mat being mature and, and knowing that playbook pretty well. What part, is, oh, go ahead, Eddie. Just part of that maturity, understanding, like they all, Danny's always talked about, Brent's just – one foot means almost everything. Is that an, an understanding that you have to understand to get where you need to be? No doubt. That that one step or that one shade over is is a ginormous difference, uh, as you can see. Um, but you know, once you get those things down, man, the, the sky is truly the limit for this group. Is that? Are we seeing a little bit of that byproduct uh, in the passing game specifically, where you're seeing more linebackers tipping balls and catching interceptions and things like that? Is that? Last few weeks that's been happening. Is that part of it? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Being in the you right know, place. you being in the right place, seeing the right things. You know, the the thing that gets you in trouble the most here are your hands and your eyes in college football. Your hands, eyes, and feet get get you in the most trouble because if your eyes aren't in the right place, your your feet aren't going to be. And so you know you have to get those things down to know where you're at and, and to help yourself and benefit from it. Kobe, does it ease things along for you having a couple guys that are your same age and Jared and Gibbs? No doubt. Um, you know, I, I think we're 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 a tight knit group. We came in together. Um, and we're learning together. You know, we we go <laughs> we go through the young guy situation a lot as young linebackers. So um, it's been extremely fun. Man, how's it feel to be doing interviews for the first time as a Sooner? Crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy. You you talk about the that playbook and, and learning that. What what is the toughest part about learning this this playbook? in particular and this defense in particular? Um, just the schemes, man. The schemes. You have to see the right things in your alignment. Alignment is key, without a doubt. Surprising how much